What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Rust Admin Academy. You know in the past that I've shown you a ton of plugins and a ton of different tools to help make your job even easier. Well, recently we've had a bunch of new tools added to the fray that I want to talk about today. And while neither one of them are more important than the other, one of them is going to completely revolutionize the way that we're hosting custom map files. But before I start showing you these new tools, I want to take a quick moment to address all of my Patreon members as well as all of my YouTube members. If you've been with my channel for any length of time, you know that I used to display your names during my videos. And if I were you, I'd be wondering why I haven't been doing that recently. And just as a reminder, it used to look like this and this. And that was all created basically automatically for me from a website called Mercury by Stream Elements. And recently they took away that functionality claiming something to do with the YouTube API, whatever, it doesn't matter. I no longer have that tool and I have to make them myself. But what this is, is a call out to somebody that's good with graphics that could maybe make something like this for me that I can use for future videos. But because I do appreciate all of my Patreon members, as well as all of the memberships that come in through YouTube, I wanted to take a minute to say thank you. So a huge shout out goes out to all of my Patreon members, especially Sailor, which as you can see at the top of the list is his name is shown in lights. I put him at the top of the list simply because he was literally the first Patreon that ever joined and he's been with me ever since. So that's going on, I think four years, I think I calculated. But every single person on this list helps this channel survive. That of course brings me to my YouTube members, which are literally just as important. So thank you so much for being a YouTube member. Now, to be totally honest with you, most of these memberships were gifted memberships from three or four really special people in my community that are incredibly generous during my live streams. So it ends up being that everyone that watches the live stream or just about everybody ends up getting a YouTube membership. So anyways, here's all your names and I appreciate every single one of you for being a part of this journey. I'm gonna try in future videos to make sure I remember to put your names up here and show them off because that's what I promised I would do. I just need to come up with a really cool and interesting way to do that. All right, so let's get into these new tools that I wanna talk about today. So if you've ever tried hosting a custom Rust map, whether that be purchased from one of the premium websites or you created something yourself simply through Rust Edit, in either case, you have to host that map somewhere in order for it to be loaded into your Rust server. And in the past, we've tried various different things. We've tried leaving it in Discord and just using that link. We've tried hosting it on OneDrive and Dropbox. I mean, there's a ton of different ways of doing it, but now we have one specific location that we can all be using all at the same time. And that is mapster.gg. Yes, Mapster, almost like Napster, but not. So huge shout out goes out to Ryan or Riser, depending on where you know him from. Ryan has put this together for us so that literally everybody can use this functionality we simply upload the map file it spits out a link and we can put that link into our batch file or into our dashboard or wherever we need to use it in order to load that custom map into our server if you know for sure that you're only going to do this one time you don't have to log in you don't have to sign in you can simply upload your file grab your link and you're off to the races however if you're going to use this over and over you simply click on this button right here it's going to link your discord account with mapster.gg and keep track of all of the files that you've uploaded with their associated links so if you're using custom maps all the time and six months down the road you want to go back and see what you used six months prior mapster.gg is going to keep track of all of that for you. The best part of this whole situation is this service is completely free. As long as this system never gets abused by anybody, Ryan has committed that this will always be free. And of course, if you'd like to talk to Ryan directly, click on this Discord button right here. That'll take you directly into his Discord. So if you have any questions directly related to mapster.gg, you can ask them there. Or of course, if you just want to go in there and say, hey, thanks for this really great service. You've made hosting custom servers so much easier. Another one of the tools that I wanted to tell you about today is basically a suite of tools. There's a whole bunch of them in there, all created by Lil Civ. Lil Siv is a staple in the Rust community. He's been around a really long time. He knows a ton of stuff. If you remember my video about Grafana a couple of weeks ago, it was actually his Grafana installer tool that I used in that video. So if we go to siv.sh, it's going to take you to this website right here. We can click on the tools that I'm talking about and we'll see all of these tools that Little Siv has created to make our jobs so much easier. We've got a Rust server installer tool. We've got the Rust Depot downloader. We've got the Grafana and InfluxDB installer that I talked about earlier and I did a video on a couple of weeks ago. If you ever need to know what your public IP address is, meaning you're hosting a server on your local network and you need your local IP address to give to your friends so that they can join your server, we can click on this button right here and that'll show you all of your public IP information. No, this isn't my real IP address. I'm protected by a VPN for obvious reasons. We've got a Steam server query. So if we need to know some information about a server and all we have is the IP address, 
and the query port. We can put that information into the Steam server query and it's gonna spit out as much information as it possibly can about that server. Now the last three tools here are really important. We've got a batch file creator, a description tool, and a JSON validator. So if we go into the Rust server batch file creator, it's really super simple. All you have to do is essentially fill out all of these blank fields, click on generate batch file, and it's gonna make all of my previous videos about starting a Rust server irrelevant. It's gonna do all of the hard work for you. It's gonna make sure that it's formatted correctly. It's gonna look good and it works every time. I've tried this myself and it does, it works beautifully. The next tool is the Rust server description tool. And I know doing this for as long as that I've been doing this, a lot of people struggle creating really good descriptions for their Rust servers so that it entices people to actually want to play on their servers. But along with that is also the formatting of that description so that it makes sense in your batch file and actually works correctly. So you can simply go through here and put in whatever information you want on whatever lines you actually want it to be on. You don't have to do any of the funky stuff. And then we click on generate output and it's going to give you the exact line that you have to put in your startup file in order for it to actually work once it's running on your server. And then the last tool that I want to tell you about is a JSON validator. So as we all know, once you start getting into really big configuration files, if you make one little tiny mistake, two possible things can happen. Either whatever plugin that you're working on this configuration file is not going to work or worse yet, the plugin will automatically force a default configuration file, which will completely obliterate any work that you've done and it'll put it back to default. We know that this really sucks when we're talking about plugins like server info or GUI shop or rateable bases, whatever the really big plugins are. If you make just the tiniest little mistake, you can negate hours of work. So take your configuration file and load it through a JSON validator, specifically this one by Lil Civ, and make sure that it's actually going to function the way that you want it to before you load it back into your server, reload your plugin, and then find out that you made a mistake. So if we take a valid JSON and run it through the validator, and it's actually good, it's going to say in the bottom left hand corner here, this configuration file is valid. But if we create an error in this configuration file, it's going to tell you exactly what position and exactly what line. And if it can, it's going to tell you what it was expecting to see at that location. Simply go back in and fix whatever error it is that you created, run the validator again, good to go. Now we can take this configuration file, put it back into our server, reload the plugin, and these changes are actually going to take effect. Rust always gets a bad rap for having a really toxic community. And absolutely, in-game, it is probably the most toxic community I've ever seen. However, behind the scenes, the people that actually build and operate these servers are the most generous people you'll ever come across. I've just now shown you a suite of tools all built free of charge, no charge for the service, and all created from the incredibly generous minds that are behind the scenes, people that never get the spotlight, but truly do deserve it more than most. So a huge shout out goes out to Riser, as well as another huge shout out that goes to Little Civ. Thank you all so much. I appreciate what you've both done for the community, and I hope you all enjoyed these videos. Check out the links in the video description down below. I'm going to put everything down there for you. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next week.